Hey guys, Dr. Matt. I'm gonna be doing a shave today, but I'm also gonna be doing a giveaway, so you're gonna to have to stick around all the way to the end to do it. Uh, we'll be shaving with my Brian Brown. Uh, this is a Brian Brown. This is a 7 8 that I got, and uh, I've had some people send me Brian Browns. I had to get one of these too that is shaved so well. This, this is semi-custom. Uh, you can see it has some nice work on the, on the spine, square, very well done. The soap I'll be using today, shave soap, is going to be Fine Accoutrements, the Fresh Vetiver. I'm holding up the after aftershave because I don't have the label for the soap. But this soap one of the best out there. Very underrated, and I'm going to tell a story about it in a second. But a tallow base soap. The quality of the lather here, top notch. In fact, what I thought I'd talk about today going to some of my favorite soaps. I'd call it my top five, but everyone has a top five video. So these are just the soaps that I like. There might be five of them. <laughs> there might be more. Build, build, build. Very nice, very nice. All right, so my favorite soap, L&L Grooming. Said it before, hands down. And when I say my favorite soap, I mean performers, performance, probably the top category, but there's other things involved too. How does that lather? You know, how does, how does the razor glide? The scent profile, that's a big one to me. L and L. I have six or eight of their soaps, and every one of them I love the scent too. My number two soap, Performance. Hasslinger, the sheep. If you've never tried that stuff, you gotta try it. It makes lather like no other soap that I've tried. I've heard the term yogurt consistency. Truly, that's what that stuff is. Like I said, it makes lather like no other soap that I've tried. The scent profile on it, very mild, but pleasant. I kind of like it because you don't have to, or at least I don't have to worry about pairing it with anything. Any aftershave I want to use or cologne afterwards. So that's kind of good in, the, in, in a way. Number three,
Very nice. So number three is the Barristern Man. Gotta have Barristern Man in the top five. I've done some videos on the, with Barristern Man. It's really great. Makes some really great leather, good qualities to it. The Barristern Man, their, their main line, or the, I guess their main soaps, is what they call their glissant based, which replace the white label. Personally, I like the white label a little better, but this one is still good. I guess he changed it because some of the beginners were having a hard time getting that to lather up because it needed a lot of water. Next one, number four, Tomic. Legendary performance, legendary. Some of the best stuff out there. Now here's the thing about Tomic. That's one of those scent, has a scent profile that people love it or hate it. Honestly, when I first tried it, didn't like it at all. Now it kind of grew on me and I do like it. But here's the interesting thing. I was watching a Michael Friedberg video, shave video, and he had mentioned that the fine accoutrements, their soap, he was shaving with their La Orange, said that the fine accoutrements soap base is the same as the topic. It's made by the same people. I thought that was interesting because I thought that the, the fine accoutrements, this fresh vetiver that I've had, which I read about on Badger and Blade on one of the threads, one of the guys said, this is really an underrated soap and he was absolutely correct. Um, I took and I looked at the, at the puck of soap compared to the topic and it does look the same. And I'll tell you, it does perform the same. I went on the, the fine accoutrements Facebook site and I asked him, I said, you know, is this made by the same people that make topic? Or is it the same base? And their reply to me was, they won't confirm that. But they also said, <laughs> they haven't denied it either. And so, it's the same stuff. So if you really like the Tobik for its legendary performance, but not a fan of the smell, Fine accoutrements, their soaps. They have a, the Italian citrus, the fine American blend, uh, the fresh vetiver. I think they have a couple other ones. But it's fantastic stuff. This soap rolls. And the last of my group for my favorite. I'm gonna kinda of, I'm gonna combine these two together because I consider them similar in that they are best bang for buck. 
And that would be the Cella and the Arco. Can't go wrong with those, in my opinion. Funny, some people say they don't like the scent of the Arco. Smells like the, what is that soap? Is it not, not Dove, but the, the other kind. I love the scent of it. And of course the cello, which is the almond. So those are my top favorite soaps. And those are all tallow. So what about the non-tallow soaps? Well, I don't have too many of those, but I do have some favorites. I can just rattle those off real quick. I'd have to go with Martin de Condre. That's definitely one of the top ones for a, a non tallow soap. Proasso Green, one of my favorites. Um, Kalani, the Kalani, the Oriental Plum is probably the most popular, but they make several other scents. In fact, I have some coming any day. They have one that has raspberry in it, which to me sounds like it would. be interesting. I've tried some of the, some Sudsy Soapery. That's, they're a relatively new artisan, I do believe, and they make some great vegan soaps. Uh, and then finally, one of the ones that I really enjoyed. <laughs> uh, let's get this. One of the, the other, the, the final non-vegan, there's other ones, but big surprise. The Palmolive Tube. I have the menthol one, very surprising, really great. accoutrement soap. Really great product. Whoo! <laughs> Livens up. Chave, great razor, Brian Brown. You're on it, brother. All right. Now, regarding the giveaway, I was given a gift, and I've never used it. It's a scuttle. But it's not like an average scuttle. It's a really nice one. It's like one I've never seen before. This is a scuttle that's sold by the ILR people. And what it is, it's two pieces. It's this, this is all ceramic, the really nice, the Fleur de Lis. It's a Louisiana theme, I guess. Looks like a, I don't know, it's a carnival or, oh, hayrides, two bits. 
some really nice artwork on it. But this is the outside. This is the piece, part that holds the water. And then the, the bowl fits in there like that. And it's a really nice big bowl, much bigger than my other scuttle. I have one of those from the Youngstown or whatever that is, that they, the large one, and it's still not big enough. This thing's like a soup bowl here. So it's really nice. I haven't used it, but I can just tell. A very nice product. Now, I don't use scuttles because honestly, I, I don't have room on my counter here for them. I like the face lather, but it is really great. And the way that you get it, Oh, also one other thing that's included with it is the Imperial Aroca. Now this is my soap. There's another one, new one that I have. I don't think it's this Pirate's Key. It's another scent, but a great scent nonetheless. And it is a tallow-based soap. This stuff smells fantastic. Um, so you're gonna get the soap and the, the scuttle. Um, what you can do is you can comment below. I don't know, tell me Tell me why you want it or tell me what you, what, what you need. You can either make comments, you can email me, drmatt357 at hotmail.com, and uh, I'll decide like in a week, you know, and I'll, and I'll let you know. I'll, I'll, I'll post it in the, in the comments as far as who won. So uh, I figured coming up on Christmas time, uh, it'd be nice to have, or maybe you can gift it to somebody. But that's it. So another great shave in the books. You guys have a great rest of the day or a great night, and we'll see you real soon. Now it cuts like a knife.